Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm a random Dark Link, and in the last video, uh, something terrible just happened to Zelda after we got that oh-so-coveted exchange with her uh, alone at the top of the Goss Tower. So intimate. Well, anyways, we're gonna need to, like, get out of the room so we can, uh, uh, follow this, uh, weird specter. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna start just moving my way toward her real quick. She, uh, is rather important. Are you just gonna face through the door or something? Yeah. Yeah, of course you are. Cool. Nothing weird about this at all. Nothing weird about it at all. Huh. Except I, I wasn't trying to, like, get my sword out here. So, for those of you who are just joining me here, uh, I am playing this using button controls. And, uh, it is... It is something. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Hey, uh, dear. Demon cat. I'm. I'm booking it. Except I'm just gonna let my stamina get restored here because well, that would be necessary. I, I would go get that treasure chest, but I, I'm just not feeling like it. Like, why would I want to fall all the way? down here when, you know, trying to just... <sighs> just, like, push myself across the ledge takes so much time as is. I just... Ah, thank you. Ah, jeez. If I was actually making that jump in real life, uh... I would be kind of scared for my life. There we go. If only for the fact that, like... It's actually quite scary, you know, just being on the top of a floating island in the sky. And, you know, just jumping into the void with no chance of survival whatsoever. Like, it's, um... It, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Just put your sword away, man. Come on. I wish I hadn't said that. Mm. Oh boy. Well. Uh oh. Oh, that's a shiny moon. Hi. I just, just, just put me in. in just lock me in this statue so I don't have to say such stupid things. Oh, hey, a sword. Cool. Oh, hello. <clears throat> the one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a great role in... A great destiny. Oh? According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose long before recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. Oh. Okay. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, Allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. 
The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Oh dear. Well, that's, that's great to hear. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend that you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Oh boy. I guess I am. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay. I guess I'll do that, whoever you are. Alright, Fee. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's examine here, and... <sighs> button controls. This is much more interactive in the... original game, but... <laughs> You know, th this does well for me, given my uh, previous experiences with the game itself. So it's just nice to... to play this game with functioning controls, for the most part. Hmm. You got the Goddess Sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in, in divine light. Blech! Jeez, can't speak. Ugh. Fantastic. <clears throat> Recognition complete, Master. Link. My master. Oh. Okay. Link! Oh. <clears throat> I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are, in the Chamber of the Sword. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. Oh. It is said this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will not the great apocalypse will wake from this long slumber. I swear, this pandemic is just getting terrible with the whole speaking thing. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in the place most sacred. <clears throat> it started days ago. The sword that I've, been, I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamt the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge and merciful. Ah, yes. The oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. You know, for for his, while there is like multiple critiques of fee here, like that is probably one of the sickest burns that I've ever seen seen a computer like being give. <laughs> <sighs> it appears that critical sections of the passage have lo lost over the generations. Mm. Oh, cool. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Oh, great. Cool. Ah. 
flashback to this. Some of my father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. <clears throat> great. Master, we must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Well, thankfully, Fee has us covered here. Thank you for giving us this awesome stone tablet. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it, and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. <laughs> Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lit it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Oh, cool. Well, anywho, we will do that right now. That, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, can I please rotate the camera? Jeez, I still hate that control. Can you please just go straight here? I guess I'm gonna have to do it like this, but that's fine. <laughs> Pretty simple, especially with the new rights to controlling everything. Unlike the new right stick oriented controls, um, helping out with everything, I mean. I'm gonna get that straight here. Anyways, let's put down our tablet and, uh, have, uh, some fun here. Ah, fantastic. Ah, nice. A hole in the cloud barrier. Looks likely like Gabora. Gabora? How do you pronounce that? I, I don't know. Master Link, it is done. Oh, cool. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world from you know what from the one below. Jeez, my apologies. I cannot speak today. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Well, um, thank you for that. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Oh. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legends true. Okay! Cool. I'll do that. You do your people proud, Link. God, your hands are big. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you. Link, 
and those clothes they don't look up to the task the uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now a sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey you better change before you go okay thank you thank you for the new clothes and if it's anything what I think it is like it's uh it's gonna be it yep yes there we go now that is the link that we all know and love <clears throat> cool 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 also love the hand gloves mm. that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year to be honest I have my doubts about the new color but oddly enough seeing you wear this uniform I can't imagine a more fitting color for you it's as though you were born to wear it born to wear it wink wink <laughs> Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have any questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, anywho, I think I'm going to head out of the room here. And, uh, I think I am going to go hey, grab... Link! Oh. Hi, Fledge. How are you? That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you'll be heading out to look for Zelda. You're, you're really something else. I could never imagine doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Awesome. Fantastic. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Fledge, for all your help. Anywho. Uh-oh. Hey! Hey! I just saw the news. Out of all of us... How come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Chris won't come out of his room and Zelda is missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. I hope that you learn the error of your ways at some point. I really do. Anyways. Oh, hey. No. I heard the news, Link. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? The master told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Uh, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Oh, thank you. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. Cool. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's also the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip a shield, hold R, select the shield you want to use, and let go of R. Cool. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the Sparring Hall will happily teach you. Um... Okay. I don't think we need to do that, though. There we go. And I'm just gonna save here, just for... Uh, uh, all good time sake here. And then we're just gonna head, head to the bazaar and grab us some potions so we can better be prepared for the journey. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. 
I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you purchase a shield and some potions at the bazaar in preparation for your What do you think I was going to do? Jeez Louise! I'm not completely stupid, Fee. Have a little bit of, like, you know, faith in your... Oh my god. So, you're on your way to becoming a knight now, eh? Congratulations. But I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to press the left, the right button. Sorry, I, I'm confusing my directions here. Uh, if you need a pointer or two. Okay, cool. Only one thing to do when you're tired. Get some sleep. You can sleep anywhere there's a bed, you know. Skyloft is a different place after the sun goes down, it's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep until nightfall. There's all kinds of curious things to enjoy at night. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's... that's great. Sorry, I needed to collect myself there. Oh my goodness, that was... Wow. What's this? What is it that my eyes behold? Oh, young man! What calamitous visions appear before me? You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Um... I want to go casually walk away here. And just, uh... I think I'm just gonna go talk to the potion uh, master here. Yeah. Hey! You there! Yes, you! The adorable boy with the golden hair! Welcome to the potion shop! You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey! You're one of the knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least, him. Let me tell you. One look at you, and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour into. Mm. For some reason, I like you, though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. No, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Awesome! We got an empty bottle! We can fill it with potions. Mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. Awesome. If you ever get to a point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop the items off at the item check. Mm. So, what would you like to buy? Well, I would... All this this gives you stamina, but... I mean, I could always just use stamina flowers that are plentiful, so that's kind of useless. Um, this one's not for sale. Yeah. That's a fat of heart potion. Drink this, dear, and it will replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick some up for your adventure? It's only 20 rupees. How about it? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Thank you so much. You got a heart potion. When placed in your pouch, you can use this item to restore eight hearts. <laughs> so, thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. Cool. Awesome. Actually, I, I don't think I've talked to you before. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Uh, welcome to my humble little side business over here. I, uh, infused the potions my wife sells with some new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing, really. Just something I like to do. Well, uh... Do you have any potions you would like to, me to infuse? Uh, unfortunately, not at the moment. I see. And no bother to me. Hope to see you again. Someday. Uh, I, I, I wish you luck in taking care of your child. And also... Oh, my... God, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Let me remind you, I still hate this mechanic. 
But, you know, it's, it's cool all the same, I guess. I mean, the fact that I had to press down on a joystick is like, what the heck? Hey, look up there! It's Beetle's Air Shop! It's here! He sells bug nets there! I want one so bad! There's a bell hanging down from the shop, and I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop, will stop for you and pick you up. But that bell is up off the ground. You don't have to launch something at it to have any hope of ringing it. Oh. Gee, I, I wonder what... Uh, I wonder, is it in the bazaar, or do I have to, like, um, get something else here? I don't... No, if... Is it in the bazaar? I'm gonna go take a quick look. Yeah, I was correct on my first assumption. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get uh, what I need there. So I think I am just going to... Uh... So I would like to uh, go to Beetle's Air Shop at some point. So I think I'm gonna end this episode here because I'm gonna be planning to go uh, uh, onto the ground uh, come the next episode. So... Anywho, uh, I thank you all for watching, and if you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and turn on notifications to know when my next video comes out, and I hope, like, these are easily digestible for you, I try to keep them nice and short on this particular one, because, like, it's, it's a lot of material to handle. Uh, that may not be the same for the, uh, series that'll be coming out later this, later, uh, at the beginning of August, but, you know, it's, it's all the same, gonna be pretty good, uh, I hope you all are enjoying this so far. Take care, everyone.